Hi and welcome to my channel. I'm Emilia and my channel name Harvinaisen Kaunis Elämä means uniquely beautiful life. And today is a beautiful nightwish day. I am going to do my first reaction to Shudder Before the Beautiful, Wembley 2015. But before that I want to say a thank you for all of you who have left me comments and, and liked my videos. It means really a lot to me. I enjoy so much reading all your comments, so thank you. And also there was a question uh, I want to address right now, because I totally forgot the most important place name in Finland from my mini class, Kite. Sorry. So here we go. Kite. Ready? Um, it's Kite. Not Kitty or Kaidi, nor Kai, nor English T. Just Kite. 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 One more time. Kite. Okay. And I also want you to know I'm trying really hard to do a reaction to all the suggestions you have made, comments and songs, all of them. But please bear with me, it will take time. Uh, so be patient with me, okay? Please. Uh, I have to rest a couple of days in bed after doing one reaction or any kind of video, so it's going to be a long journey, this one. <laughs> Which is nice, because, you know, the whole point in for me uh, in sharing the joy that is night with is this journey. And it's lovely to see I'm not alone in my Nightwish train. It's never far away, <laughs> this one. Oh, by the way, you are saying there is a whole army of you out there somewhere in this same train. Uh, you know, I'm a theologian. I do believe in things, but this one, I believe it when I see it. <laughs> Sorry, but I know I'm a bit of a challenge for you, maybe with my, you know, me being just not your average Nightwish Army member. But I'm still humbly and patiently waiting for my application form to arrive so I can I could maybe be let into the department of the train that is the Nightwish Army. Meanwhile, let's shudder before the beautiful. The deepest solace lies in understanding. This ancient unseen stream, a shudder before the beautiful. <laughs> way of starting a heavy metal concert. That was Richard Dawkins, wasn't it? Just like in The Greatest Show on Earth. And <laughs> they, 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 they demand your attention right from the start with a gentle voice and then darkness and then boom. <laughs> and what a measured and composed boom 
that was. Because you can feel there they left room for some more and then came in Empo to, uh, and started his uh, Ferrari engine and then then Floor came in and you know cast her spell and awaken us all with her voice and Kai I I could swear he has more legs and uh, and and arms than um any of us mortals but I'm stopping here right now because I I'm glad I have the lyrics and because I I heard her her singing uh wake awake ocean born the hope is gone and I I thought okay okay <laughs> but behold this force not the hope is gone Oh, oh, what a way to start a concert! Oh, imagine being there. The old-fashioned theater walking through a city and inviting you to see all the um, wonders and in this case li also listen but all the wonders and magic this is like somehow it's it's a perfect opening song it was the opening song, song of the album wasn't it to make sense Play this way, way before it it was a way more 
although I haven't heard that many songs, but this sounded to my unprofessional, untrained ear like more rock than any I have heard before. I like it. Uh, because the lyrics are about beauty and it needs contrast and contrast they get. Oh. plays the opening melody here, uh, doesn't he? Okay, there was also, of course there was Marco, uh, so they maybe blend together so much, it sounds for me like he's playing it all, but it's such a rich, beautiful sound. Wow. I love this song. I know I'm going to say every one of them is the best, which I'm not going to say because everyone, when you hear them for the first time, you're just blown away. full of wonder within to do that. I can't believe it. And Floor delivers them like a statement. They are the ED Maru asking us to join them. How, how was it in ED Maru? See us dream every tale through. Yes, they are the source of the tale. Wow. I want to hear that again. And I'm not even apologizing. I'm learning. I'm learning. The unknown, the grand show, the choir of the stars. It's a stellar theater play, the nebula curtain falls. Imagination, evolution, a species from the veil. What's in one? that uh, they are out of this planet or universe <laughs> that should do it <laughs> no human can survive this hurricane there <laughs> oh my goodness also thomas is genius of course he knows that but i think there are so many places in his songs that are clearly made um and as an invitation for the audience to come in to the music and I think that's fantastic it it it, it, it works um, also there is something ancient an echo in here almost pyramids and cards and creation the beginning it's Bitch again, if 
it's of course perfectly natural for the beginning song. and started in such a powerful manner with Awake Ocean Born. It was, it was, it was something. I have heard Dead Boy's Bone only once, but I, I think there was Ocean Soul in there. Or, I think there was. I'm going to react to that song as soon as I feel safe enough to do that. I know the story of that song, but you do not know mine. But how interesting. Thomas killed his <laughs> ocean soul poet boy and now he opens a whole new album with Ocean Born. He really does love oceans. So do I. <laughs> uh, this um, also is, this is really embarrassing. I I'm, seem to have a habit to make confessions in public <laughs> and embarrass myself <laughs> and or humiliate myself. But um, I have a tendency to get bored listening to guitar solos. Sorry. Usually they sound to me like um, the guitarist is sewing all he, usually he, I haven't heard she, um, what they can do in one solo and usually in a very grand manner. Empo is so matter of factly superior he can leave all that out. And I think I could listen to him play alone all the night with song, songs and never get bored. Marko was here again as a rock solid foundation for it all, just like Tuomas. And Kai, somehow this, um, I don't know why I paid more attention, even more attention to him. I do not know about drums, but there was something 
it was amazing. Um, how to explain? It sounded like he did it in such a fluent manner. It was like he was just, you know, playing around. I don't know. I don't know the right words in English, but you know, like, like he's not actually trying his hardest, but he's relaxed and, and uh, like this was an, you know, like her rehearsal um, part, and it it was still amazing, but the feeling while he did it was. It, it made me feel relaxed and and somehow flexible <laughs> I, I don't know and whoever designed the lights and fireworks and all the effects they really understood something essential about, about night twists to be able to do that because they highlight and accent things so we can understand or notice them better and they did it in such a way that it was show inside a show and what a show <laughs> like just you know after the deep silence between the notes where then there were huge fireworks <laughs> uh, deep silence that deafened something i don't remember and that line deep silence between the notes delighted me so much you know how much i talk about the silence and the lyrics in all i i, I got really emotional it doesn't mean if the song is a heavy one or really fast and moving forward kind of pressing compact song but if the lyrics and the melody somehow gets into you it doesn't matter it doesn't need to be a ballad for me i usually do not cry listening to ballads. It's it's this kind of music that does it. It's it's really strange. And those lyrics were just a beautiful reminder to me um, how important it is to stop every once in a while and and see the wonders of the world and around us and think about all the things we can and should be grateful for like you know being here in this tiny pale blue dot and alive right now being able to listen to nightwish together oh this was beautiful thank you <laughs>